Leanne Tui first stepped into the spotlight as the hard-driving mom in the blockbuster film The Blind Side. Her family adopted a homeless teen who grew up to become an NFL star. That player is Michael Orr, who helped the Baltimore Ravens win the Super Bowl. Well, tonight his mom leads a mission to turn foster homes into forever families. Ephraim Graham talked to Leanne about her new TV series, Family Edition. The show is not my idea at all. Leanne Tui is a classy, no-nonsense ball of energy who doesn't hold her tongue. I, I told someone very well known this weekend, I said, I'm not sure who you think you are, but you're not very important. You cook. And, and so you need to realize that you're just a cook. And move on. And, and I mean, you know, and, and they're a well-known cook. But I mean, I, I was just <laughs> incensed at the way they were treating someone. Daddy's been gone five years, Elaine. Make matters worse, you were at the funeral. Actress Sandra Bullock brought that big personality to the big screen in The Blind Side and won an Academy Award. It's a real-life Cinderella story. The Tui family adopts a homeless 17-year-old who grows up to play for the Baltimore Ravens and even wins a Super Bowl. It all began on a cold Thanksgiving in 2003 when the family drives by Michael Orr walking on a Memphis street and decides to turn around. Do you have any place to stay tonight? Don't you dare lie to me. The fact that we did turn around, it, it changed our lives. It's really a love story. And, um, uh, you know, I, I hope that the love story continues with family after family after family because there are Michael Orr's in every city in this country and all they need is someone to love them. And um, there's a lot of people with a lot of worth and a lot of value, and, um, and they just need an opportunity. Leanne and her family are working to deliver opportunities to more families. Team Tui has one more little surprise for you. With an inspirational reality series called Family Edition. We're one of these that unless what we do makes a difference, we really don't want to play in that sandbox. And we've been offered every TV show you can imagine. Uh, you, you name it, we've been offered it. As a family, individually, they've wanted us to race, jump, hop, skip, surprise. I mean, everything you can think of. And that's just not who we are. Leanne calls the show a perfect fit for her family and the work it does with the Making It Happen Foundation. In each episode, the Tui family works to help families on the verge of adopting one or more of their foster children. That I love you and I'm ready to be adopted by you both. Oh. When you go into a family that is really just stretched to as tight as possible financially, just every way you can imagine, you would like to do something for them that you leave a footprint that you were here and that you know, we believe in you and we think what you're doing is right. So every episode thus far, we have tried to do something for the family, to encourage them, to uplift them, to let them know that, man, you are doing the right thing. You know, you're the hero. You're the one making a difference in this child's life. That's Tui's message to the Jackson family in this episode. I feel like I'm in prison. What, I mean, you got razor wire up there. Really? Shadon and Jeffrey have two children, but still open their home to seven young siblings in California's foster care system. They were abandoned and left in a motel. Shardon and Jeffrey are two of the most amazing individuals I've ever met. I, I just, every night when I lay my head on the pillow, I still, I say thank you, God, for Shardon and Jeffrey Jackson, because they have stepped up and made a difference. Um, there's this mother in L.A., and, it, and I, I'm not going to lie, if I meet her, it's potentially I could do bodily harm to her. Um, you know, and, and she just continues to birth these children. She's 26 years old, and she will do it again, and they cannot take another child in. The last two kids she had, she, she walked out of the hospital and looked at the lady at the front desk and said, you know who to call. Like, it, it was her laundry or her dry cleaning. It's a human being. Leanne Tui is quick to point out the foster care picture can be painful and frustrating. At any given time, there are at least 400,000 children in the system waiting for a permanent home. There is no one walking the streets that had it any tougher than my son. Nobody. Um, he was in 20 plus foster homes. He was one of 13 kids. I mean, it was as bad as bad can get. And if someone like him, when you invest time and you love them, become so wildly successful, can you imagine who falls through the cracks that doesn't get help? And that keeps you up at night. Tui says foster care and adoption are significant issues in America, but they are manageable. And she hopes her series will inspire people to get involved. Somebody has to be the voice of the kids. 
Do we think that God bestowed that message on us a little bit? He uses simple people to tell stories. And he used our family who were just simple, everyday, ordinary people to tell a story. You know, look, not everyone can go out and adopt a 6'6", 350 pound African-American <laughs> young man. Um, you know, he eats a lot hard to you know, find clothes for, there are issues, but we can all do something. Ephraim Graham, CBN News, New York.